Hi everyone, it's Bella Gemma Nails and I'm very excited to be with you here today. I'm going to be embellishing this beautiful brown faux crock purse and the inspiration for this bag is this bag that I designed in January and it is such a stunner. This bag is often worn with the boots that I just designed, the feather boots, which I'll post the link below if you haven't seen that video. But I wanted to create another bag that had similar features. I absolutely love crystals and so I will be incorporating crystals in this here design. I'm going to share the features of this bag in case you're interested. I did purchase it for $23 from Amazon. It is a very large clutch and it is very nicely made. You can see that it's flat there but it holds quite a bit of stuff. And it is nine and a half inches tall and then it is 13 inches in width there so you can see how spacious it is and then in comparison to my hands it is a big one so if you want to learn how to embellish this just keep on watching okay guys the first thing you're going to do for this project is you're going to be stuffing it because you will need a hard surface to work with and so that's your first step and I have also laid out the crystals that I'll be using for this project and the crystals here that I'll be using are red crystal titanium quartz and they're polished so they are shiny and they come in a 15 inch strand and what you're going to do before starting the project is you're going to line them up from longest to shortest. I am truly obsessed with symmetry, so we are going to be placing the longer pieces on the top and then work our way down to the tapered pieces. So just keep on watching. Okay guys, for this project you're going to need your clear pointed nozzle E6000. I'm also going to be using this rhinestone gold chain to adorn the outskirts of this bag. I'm also going to be using the turquoise gemstones that I purchased for my previous project. I'll be incorporating them in the design as well. Remember, always use a mask when using E6000 and work in a ventilated area. This glue is highly toxic. Guys, I literally hold my breath when I do this because I'm so obsessed with symmetry that it's almost like an illness and it's very hard to place this chain in a straight manner. So please skip this if you suffer from anxiety. So totally off topic guys, this weekend I decorated my house for Halloween, which is the second time I've ever decorated for Halloween. I decorated about two years ago, a haunted house and I was obsessed. I get really obsessed with projects like that. Kind of like my design stuff. I, I view it the same way. And so I decided that my Halloween decorations will stay up through Christmas so that I could have a Jack Skellington type of Christmas. So the Nightmare Before Christmas theme, Christmas. So I'm going to incorporate both and leave my decorations throughout the first of the year. So I'm so excited. My house looks ridiculous right now and I love it. Which is funny because I'm not really that fond of Halloween. But it was just kind of in a mood. Let me know if you guys love Halloween and what you do, if anything at all. Okay guys, so you're going to lay the chain and you're gonna leave this as one continuous long chain, not cut it until you actually do all the outside perimeters. I'm gonna let this side dry and then start on the other side. So just keep watching. The moral of the story, kids, is do not drink coffee before doing this. So guys, this chain is from Amazon. It is super high quality, 
crystals. They sparkle a whole lot. If you're going to be doing this to your bag, keep in mind that the prongs do snag on clothes, so try not to rub it on your clothes. But I think I paid about $8 for this roll, and it is, I, I have no idea how many yards, but there's so much chain, and it comes in handy for multiple projects. So I'll post the links below for you. Make sure that none of these stones slide over onto the rhinestone chain. You want to be able to see that. Okay, guys, now let this dry before you start on the back. The difference between this bag and the black one that I designed is that I only placed gemstones on the front part of the bag and left the back plain. However, this one will have gemstones on the front and on the back, and I also aligned the gemstones facing each other as opposed to sloping downward. So those are the visible differences. Okay guys, so the last step is adding these little stones to the top of each of the turquoise stones. Now. I want them to match these sunglasses that I previously designed. I wanted the combination of the clutch and sunglasses to go pretty seamlessly. If you haven't seen this video for the sunglasses, I'll post the link below to see how you could get this look as well. For the adhesive, I'm going to be using the Kiss Gel Glue. I am not using E6000 since it is very sticky and hard to work with. So I'm going to use this. Be careful not to use just any regular super glue because it can frost the rhinestone. This is gel glue and that won't happen in this particular case. So in placing these, make sure that they are centered and in a straight line. Also, if you guys use press-ons, this is the best gel glue. Kiss Pink Gel Glue is phenomenal. Now you let dry before you start on the other side. Now that the back side is complete, let it dry. Really quickly, guys, before I show you the final product, I am going to be showing you this bag that I'm currently wearing. I purchased it on AliExpress because I'm totally feeling clear bags right now. And it's a 29 centimeter laser cut holographic pink Birkin dupe. And you can see how beautiful it is. They have it in gold and then they have the hardware in a bright hot pink which will look really pretty with this bag. I did decorate it. I didn't embellish it, but I'll show you what I did. I did add twillies to the front and back that came with a different bag. And I added a bow tie here that I pinned on the twilly and it is so pretty. It matches perfectly with my stick figure fashionista here. And I also added a little which is not so little, but a dangle here as per usual. It is a knitted teddy and it is super beautiful and soft. And I did add a chain, of course, because it has a, a grommet here where you can actually link your chain. And it fits quite a bit of stuff. I'm not doing a what's in my bag, but I just wanted to show you. This was $29. It has gone up to $35. And everything was purchased on AliExpress, if I recall. These may have been purchased on Amazon. I'm not sure. But this was like, I think, a dollar on AliExpress. Let me know if you guys want me to post the links below to these items. I just wanted to share this with you because it is a stunning bag. Just the color itself and the design is beautiful. I don't know how long this bag will last in terms of quality it feels pretty good but you know again it was only $29 I guess you get what you pay for so let me know what you think okay guys so this is the finished product and you can see how beautiful it looks this will be the front of the bag and you could tell by having the longer stones here and they taper down you can see the sparkly embellishments although they don't come across on camera this chain here is very sparkly, and if you flip it over, you'll see that these are the shorter gemstones for the back of the purse alongside the embellishment uh, chain. It is such a beautiful bag. The combination of turquoise with the brown and the pink 
really makes this bag very unique. I'm excited to combine it with the sunglasses I previously showed you. If you like this design, please make sure that you give it a big thumbs up or pop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.